Hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar and what I am going to do in this video, I am going to solve ordinary differential equation question that asked in CSR net. It is very easy sections <coughs> because from last one year I have uploaded only pure mathematics. Now I have also focused on applied mathematics sections so that you will score my club aapka score thoda acha ho right so that um, you will get good marks, good rank and at least you will be placed in some university or colleges where you want to do PhD or job so that's the intention so this question is from Moody in next few videos I will upload uh, some calculus of variations or uh, integral equations and PD all that we will do that but <coughs> let's understand this OD because OD is very fundamental and it's very really important in all exams okay so let's see this question how to do it okay but this question is net kaya hua question so this question asks in CSR net <coughs> also it is going to be important to you get net uh, and nature as well as your jam exam so consider this differential equation dy by dx is equal to y plus 17 and what is given if this equation has two solutions let's say y1 and y2 such that y1 is 0, 0 and y2 is 0 is 1 so this is the two initial conditions that are given for the solution y1 and y2 then which of the following is are true first y1 and y2 never intersect second y1 and y2 intersect at x equal to 17 y1 and y2 intersect at x equal to e and y1 and y2 intersect at x equal to 1 so they are asking whether y1 or y2 have a common solution or not because y1 is another curve, y2 is another curve are they going to intersect or not and if they intersect at what point that's what they are asking okay? so this question we have to think this type of questions we have to approach so how to think this kind of problem how one should approach this kind of problem that's important okay? so let's see what we have to do first we have to solve what is given so given is this differential equation dy by dx is equal to y plus 70 so let me recall the theory what is the theory so if dy by dx plus function of x into y is equal to qx then integrating factor is nothing but e to the power px dx and solution is what is the solution y into integrating factor correct is equal to integral qx integrating factor into dx plus constant how are this from this i leave as an exercise please do this it's very simple you know you, you don't have to use the mind raising too much because whatever you have to use you have to use in pure mathematics here you don't need that but anyway so d by dx is equal to this so recall that theory if this is this this is the integrating factor this also needs a proof you know this is not so much easy that's need the proof this i leave I am going to leave this an exercise. Please put this integrating factor is going to be this. And then if you multiply y with this, you are going to this. How? If you multiply here differential equation like this, use the chain rule, you will get this. Fine? Now let's come to the here. So here dy by dx minus y is equal to 70. That's implied. So what is my integrating factor? Therefore, the integrating factor is e to the power minus 1 into dx. That's the whole played by p. p divided by dx plus px. Plus px. So, px are always minus 1. And that's nothing but e to the power minus x. So, therefore, solution is y times integrating factor is equal to 17 into e to the power minus x dx plus constant. That means y is equal to so y e to the power minus x is equal to 17 minus 17 into e to the power minus x plus constant now use the initial conditions so what i have done so far so what i have done so other differential equation if d by dx is equal to y plus 17 this key to solutions are here if this is equal to this then Solution is y is equal to minus 70 plus c to the power ex. This is the solution. Correct? Right? So here the solution is where c is arbitrary constant. Now you have to remove this arbitrary constant. To remove this arbitrary constant, they have given the two condition. If y0 is, is equal to 0, suppose this is y1, if y0 is, is equal to 0, what is that? 
that means 0 is equal to minus 70 and uh, plus c that means c is equal to 17 so your y1 is nothing but uh, 17 e to the power x minus 1 correct huh? this is this correct huh? after those solution we have y1 y2 means we have two arbitrary constant that's what I am going to do if this is going to be your initial condition then this is my y1 and if this is your initial condition then what is going to be my solution if x is equal to 0 y0 is equal to 1 that's equal to minus 17 plus c into e to the power 0 is equal to 1 so c is my 18 so therefore y2 is nothing but minus 17 plus 18 e to the power x take okay? are the intersect so if y1 is equal to y2 suppose y1 x is equal to y2 x what does it mean is come up of 17 e x minus 17 is equal to 18 e x minus 17 that means e x is equal to 0 means you are able to find a real number for which e x is equal to 0 why kya kabhi exponential 0 ho sakta hai kya kabhi 0 ho sakta hai aisa koi mile to hame bhi bata dena mere nazar mein to nahi hai bhaiya aisa koi bhi x nahi hai jisse ye e x 0 ho jaye hence there is no solution hence y1 and y2 never ever intersect correct hai so the correct option is first option clear hua so this is the way you have to do the answer okay and i hope you got the idea so thank you for watching my videos it really means a lot to me thank you so much